Sunday, the 25th of January, about 10 to 11. And uh, taking a bit of an early night tonight. I've <sighs> been in overdrive the past week. Uh, took a few half days and worked quite late at night trying to get jobs done. But I think it's been kind of worth it. Exhausted, but uh, we got a, a lot done. Uh, so this whole area is all painted. It may have been done already last time. But uh, tonight I've been doing some nice jobs, kind of easy jobs that are pleasing. Um, so got the window sills in and all the dormer windows. Nice deep sills made of the same oak timber as the sills downstairs. This was like a whopping half meter deep. Uh, but really, that's a finishing touch. This is kind of finishing work. So when this type of stuff is in, you know, feels like a room. And once the floor is down, well, we're kind of done, apart from the lighting. And uh, the bedroom beside it, the, the last rows of floorboards got down. Uh, so ready to put the uh, either the hemp rope or uh, or skirting down. That's another thing I was doing as well uh, during the week. I was making uh, the or painting, I should say, the last of the skirting boards, um, which we made from the the floorboards here. And uh, well, we'll have a look downstairs at what I've been doing there. And in the last video, I had said that I would love to get this area finished. Uh, so last Thursday, uh, took a half day from work. And got the ceiling done here. Uh, so actually putting up the timber construction underneath is quite quick. But cutting the plaster boards to these curvy beams, getting a nice fit and all that. That, uh, that took a little bit of time. And then on Friday I took a half day again. And uh, tackled the last of the clay plastering. So uh, I'm really happy with that actually. Uh, I have to say I've done so much of it now. And I'm not a plasterer. But... <laughs> Uh, I think I've perfected my clay plastering skills and I'd nearly love to redo the stuff that I did in the beginning, but I'm not. Uh, so the only thing left here is really this, this hole through and uh, we might make a bit of a feature of that because that curvy uh, post is quite nice. Oh, and incidentally, that black kind of smudge going across it, that was the colour of the beams up here before uh, I got at it with the sand blaster and then the, uh, the brush sander. Uh, so there was a handrail there. That I forgot to take off before doing the sandblasting, uh, so that protected the area. So yeah, it was black, and the reason being was up here was a, um, a smoking cabinet, pretty much exactly where the comms cabinet is now, and behind that cladding there, there's a, a chimney, so there was a smoker uh, attached to that. And uh, actually, on Friday when I was wetting down the the clay here, uh, you can see the timbers here also. It's still a bit dark because we actually had them intended covering this completely. Uh, but there was a really strong smell of smoke coming off them. I'd love to say smoke town, but that'll be exaggerating a little bit. Actually, we still have a smoking cabinet upstairs uh, that's in the chimney. So maybe sometime when we get a, a fire, a real fire, and burning beech wood, we can hang some sausages up in it. So yeah, that's all done. Uh, the clay plastering is drying out. It's like a, a sauna in here at the moment, so we have the heating turned up. And um, I'm walking around in a t-shirt and it's snowing outside. Because uh, this needs to dry out, uh, so clay doesn't cure like concrete or uh, or plaster does. It's not a chemical process. It's a drying out process with a mechanical binding. There you go. Now you know. So it needs to dry out well before we uh, we start covering anything over. Uh, so once that's done, we put on some uh, stuff that will basically bind it, and then we can paint it. So we're kind of done here, really. Uh, then the floor can go in. Once that's painted, I'll put the floor down. The front half of the hole uh, here is, is all done, so the floor can also go down. And we'll see how far I get tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, nothing much here. Got a windowsill in. And, uh, yeah, still got one more to make. Oh, but all the walls have been uh, kind of undercoated, so... And the ceiling as well, so painting can begin there during the week. So my wife and our friend... Uh, Celia were painting today in the hall here also. So this is also all done. Um, can't really tell, can you, from the video? Except for the uh, the clay bits here. So we've been kind of leaving this uh, to last because we were traipsing through with dirt and stuff. And then the biggest transformation here, I guess, is the, the bathroom. So finally we got that uh, painted uh, earlier in the week. Uh, several coats. It took a while before the colour really uh, became solid and then that meant, um, I think it was yesterday, I uh, got the cabinet uh, built in. Uh, it's an IKEA job or IKEA and uh, it's got the sink on 
and then uh, yeah, just testing the seals there at the moment. Uh, so uh, I'm quite happy with that actually. Kind of fitting landhouse steel, as they say. So uh, and then the only thing missing here is a uh, a, a, a top. So I'll use the same uh, oak as we use for the window sills and uh, make that a little bit wider. Uh, just in front of the sink so we have some place to stand things and yeah, get a mirror or shelving I don't know I have to figure that out as we go along agile yeah, so yeah I'm quite pleased with that uh, we kind of thought the color would be a little bit greener but actually I think it goes well to splash of uh, I was gonna say splash of color but I guess it's gray and uh, in the living room uh, today Another nice job was getting the uh, some of the skirting down. So I've got the mitre saw there and uh, been cutting them and gluing them in. And again, just like with the sails, I feel it gives a, makes the room feel kind of finished. Of course, the door still have to come in to make it really finished, but uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. So a lot of progress and uh, absolutely knackered. Uh, so I think I'll go in. Have a bit of a rest now, have a shower and relax. And uh, yeah, we get some more of the flooring done tomorrow. Not sure we'll move in at the end of the week, but uh, I made a mistake in the last video saying that Thursday our phone line would be moving, uh, but actually it's Wednesday. So that means that I will move over here at my office. And uh, yeah, the rest of us, will, as I said, will follow uh, a couple of days or maybe a week later. But we're getting there. <laughs>